Do you yearn to be able to do laundry anytime, any day of the week, in the comfort of your own home? Are you tired and tired of having to go out of your way to the bank to get quarters? And then before you know it, having to put your wet clothes in the dryer only to find out you are a few quarters short and now you have a bunch of wet clothes and you have to go back to the bank and you have to get more quarters. <laughs> Do you want to free up your weekends and not have to spend all your day off at the laundromat waiting for your laundry to be done? Well, you've come to the right place. Because boy, do I got the answer for you. Okay, don't worry, I have shorts on. Today, I'm doing a product review on my Giantex portable washing machine. Oh, my drawers. For some reason, every time I post this on TikTok, it goes viral and it gets a million views. I don't know why, but it's pretty intriguing for people. So I thought, let me make a full YouTube video about my washing machine. So I actually moved to New York recently and I knew I wasn't gonna have a washer and dryer in my unit. So I was like, absolutely not. I'm not going to the laundromat. Um, and I decided to get a portable washing machine. That was like one of the first things I bought when I moved in. Like I didn't even have a couch. I didn't have like essential things, but I had my washing machine. Um, I actually bought this used on OfferUp. It was only $50. I think if you want to get it brand new, one is around 200, 250, which I know it's not like cheap, but I, even if I wasn't able to find this used, I would have probably still bought a brand new one just because I use this so much. I use this almost every day and it just saves so much time and honestly money too at the laundromat. I mean like Laundromat is also not that cheap. It, I think it's like $6 to do one load of laundry and you still have to dry it. So I mean, you're probably spending like $20 minimum every time you go. I think the price in the long run is the same. If not, like this is probably cheaper. Okay, so this is the top view of the washing machine. This is the front panel and all the buttons you're gonna need to turn this machine off. So pretty much it's really simple. You throw your clothes in, you close the lid, and you have your hose attached, which I'll show you guys in a second. And you, and you turn the machine on. So really quick, let me just um, measure this for you guys just to show you how big it is. The diameter is about 15 inches. And like I said, it's about 13 inches deep. So another thing I wanna show you guys is this thing. This, do not forget to take it out and clean it periodically. Look, it actually needs a clean right now. Um, let's take that off. Basically, this just collects the lint. Um, you open it and there it is. I just scoop it out. There you go, and that's really all you have to do. Very simple. And then you snap that back in there. So as you can see, my washing machine lives in my kitchen. Ideally, I think it'll be best to have it in your bathroom because you can basically plug it in your bathroom sink and then let it drain out in your tub. But unfortunately, I don't have a bathroom sink. This is my only sink in my apartment, which is my kitchen sink. So I really had no option. I had to connect it here and to avoid dragging it all over the apartment every time I want to do laundry, I just kind of parked it right here and it's just really convenient for me. So what I do is I pull it over just a little bit. It comes with this cord attached. This is the power. And I just go right here and I plug it in. Oh. So the original machine came with this hose, which you're supposed to connect from the machine into your sink. For some reason, I don't know, this wouldn't connect for me so I actually went to the store and I bought this cord it was like $30 not expensive I just um, if you need to go to the store just tell the guy that you're looking for um, your hose for your portable washing machine and they'll pretty much know what to give you so on one end you make sure you screw this really well because if you don't the water is gonna come out and you don't want that because Back here, this is the electronic panel, and if the water leaks down and gets into the panel, you're pretty much gonna ruin your machine. So just make sure that's on tight, and then I bring it over here, and I connect it into my sink. So um, 
This is also, as you can see, this little spout right here, it's specifically for this. So that's also something you will probably have to get at the store. Again, if you're going to the store, just let them know that, that you're looking for something to connect your faucet to your portable washing machine hose and they'll know what to give you. So um, yeah, you take this and I just like pull it down and then I just, you kind of jiggle it and you lock it in like that and that's it it's super easy and the last hose that you need to know is going to be this hose which is where all the dirty water is going to come out and this hose i just kind of hang i hook it right here and is going to be able to drain somewhere okay so i'm going to do a load of laundry just to show you guys how this works so here's my clothes and let me get my soap turning my machine on power and i'm going to show you guys how this works so obviously this is the start button so we're not going to click that yet but the program and delay this goes through all the programs so you have normal standard fast blanket soak and wash 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 and rinse rinse and spin i haven't tried all of these i uh, honestly i go back and forth between one which is normal and three which is fast wash the normal wash is about it's about 50 minutes and the fast wash is about 25 minutes i like to just go through laundry quicker if it's not too dirty i like to put it on fast which is what i'm gonna do today so we're putting it on three and then um the water level it kind of shows you here how, i think it depends on like how obviously how big your load is and how much soap you're putting in for this load it's really tiny i'm probably just i'll just do like a two So I'll just do a two and that's really it. And then you press start. As soon as you press start, come over here to my sink and I turn it on. And there you have it. And you know, if you wanna check the temperature and that's when I like to put my soap in. So another thing that I was unsure about when I first bought this is do you leave the faucet running throughout the whole entire wash? And the answer is yes. You don't have to turn the faucet off once the water has stopped filling up the washing machine. You just leave it on the entire time and once the machine is done, it's gonna beep and then that's when you can turn the water off. People also ask me, how do I dry my clothes? Honestly, I just air dry everything um but there is a portable dryer which i used to have in my old apartment and um that worked great but if you want to save money just air dry everything i mean it's really not that big of a deal towels come out a little crispy but uh it's fine but as you can hear the washing machine is going through its cycle right now and then right here it tells you how many minutes are left so 21 minutes left and um, when it's done, it's gonna beep, but I will show you guys when it's done. Make sure you have this hose draining in the sink because if you don't, it will be draining on the floor and it'll flood your apartment. It's happened to me before and it is not fun. Okay, it's done. It let's you know I'm done. So I come over here, I turn the sink off and yeah, just open this and there is your clean laundry. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I just walked you guys through how I do my laundry here and I 10 out of 10 recommend this Giant Hex machine. That's it, that's all I have for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for next week's video.